What's up, everybody? So the PS5 revealed itself yesterday, and I am super excited about it. I saw some trailers, not all, and I woke up to the Resident Evil 8 trailer being tagged, and I have to watch this. I'm excited about it. Uh, Resident Evil 7 was amazing, and also my favorite of the continuous stories of Resident Evil that were not the remakes, obviously. And I love the style of the the way that they brought the horror to the game. Also, I love how we were in first person view for the game as well. And the VR style for the game too. I got to play it on VR thanks to a few friends. So let's go ahead and jump into this reaction to Resident Evil 8 and talk a little bit about it afterwards. All right, here we go. His story comes to a close. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rest of them free gorgeous. of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. So it looks like we're going to be a first person view again. Yeah, creepy story. It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff. Quit being so paranoid. No, no, Ooh. friendly, friendly. <clears throat> Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? They're coming. Who is? Oh, shit. So good. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is going to be a continuation of Resident Evil 7 because Ethan is still a part of the story. I'm assuming we're going to be playing as Ethan again, which is really cool. I mean, Chris did save him at the end of Resident Evil 7, so now he's in a new area for some reason at a village that looks creepy. It's giving me some uh, Outlast 2 vibes. If you've played Outlast 2, you understand what I mean, but of course on a much grander scale and of course without the video camera too. And the zombies, like, they have evolved into something else. Like you kind of got that little sense of that on with Resident Evil 7 because the Baker family were fully aware about everything that was going on and they were able to change their form as well and just do all these things. So they've really been able to amp up what 
the virus is able to do. It's evolved. And it makes me really excited because the Baker family was definitely one of my favorite uh, antagonists of the Resident Evil saga because they were just absolutely insane. And the story didn't go the way that you thought it was going to go, which made it that much more interesting. Now we're in a village and it's just wide open. Anything can definitely happen. I mean, it's Resident Evil. And I love that. So this is a continuation and I need to know what's going to happen. And I cannot wait for the PS5 to release because I am going to be getting that on release day. I'm going to be doing a video hopefully soon with, with Shelby as well to talk about our thoughts on the PS5 and kind of go into more into depth of what we are looking forward to with that. This is definitely a game that I am absolutely looking for. You guys know me. You guys know that I love horror to the max. So this was a very nice surprise. I was not expecting to see this trailer. But guys, what did you guys think? You've now seen the Resident Evil 8 trailer. You've already probably seen it before. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and what you're looking forward to with the PlayStation 5. Are you guys going to get it on release day? Or are you going to wait a little bit? Um, normally, I wait to get uh, new systems. <laughs> normally. But the... Uh, oh, this is going to be so hard because the games that are coming out with the PS5, I might have to get it right off the back in... Are you going to get the digital edition of the PS5 or are you going to get the regular version of the PS5? I'm most likely going to go digital. The main reason for that is because all of my games are already digital on my PS4. So we'll see. All right. Thank you for so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell. That way you know when we upload brand new videos. I will see you guys next time.